my name is Adam Griffin. I've been in e-com for about give or take two years now. I started August 2021, so I guess we are past the two-year mark. I've learned a lot, made a lot of money. I've lost a lot of money, and today I figured I'd hop on YouTube to kind of show you all the a realistic fun that you can do. I know by the title you might be thinking this looks like a guru video. You know the ones where the you know, thumbnails are like. That shows like 10,000 million billion dollars um, in your Shopify balance. I did seven and a half grand in two weeks. It's not unreasonable. It's really not. It's it's not hard. You just have to learn from the right people. And I, I figured I'd start making YouTube videos to just kind of draw away from those influencer guru people's takes and kind of show you all the real way to get things done you know so we're here as you can see it's uh september 20th to october 4th which is the day that i'm filming this 7.386 k this is a halloween product so we are slowing it down now because it's coming up on halloween so it's not going to sell much after that so we're going to shut this down pretty soon which is why i'm doing a case study on it but yeah man so our first day running this is done well with tiktok ads by the way all tiktok ads one of my first experiences with TikTok ads, to be honest, and I learned a lot, and I'm, I'm ready to share it with you guys. So first day here, September 20th, well, I was kind of testing the ads using testing strategies, and every strategy that I talk about in this video, I'm going to be going over in another video. Most likely, you'll most likely see it by the time this one's up. I'll probably upload both at once, just so uh, you have some sort of reference uh, after watching this video. But yeah, any strategy that I talk about, you may not know what it means, and that is totally okay. Just follow along and I'll explain that strategy in another video. But yeah, September 20th, I used my own personal testing strategy for this product and we saw two sales right away. However, we were not profitable, but that's okay. You don't need to be profitable on your uh, testing campaign. It's obviously good if you are, but if not, it's okay. As long as it's selling, it's selling. As long as you're not $500 in debt, which you shouldn't be if uh, you're just testing. You shouldn't even have a $500 budget. But Let's move on to the 21st here, the zero dollars. I, I spent this day kind of learning more about TikTok ads because I knew this product had potential and I was like, okay, I should probably learn more about what I'm doing before I start dumping money into this. And I did, I took that whole day to study and I went right back in the next day and we actually did $230. This was a Friday. So this Friday we did $230. This new strategy that I was using, a scaling strategy was extremely effective, essentially. So we, we were very profitable on this day. And now the next day, the Saturday, keep in mind, this is the third day after I started this run. The 23rd, we did $973.64. That was using the scaling strategy that I used that Friday. Just duplicated about three times, I think. Very, very, very profitable. The same thing on Sunday, didn't change a thing. Didn't duplicate anything else. We just wanted to make sure it was consistent and it wasn't purely luck based. So we went ahead and did $999 on the Sunday. So our four days in, we've made two and a half grand, right? Like this, this is realistic. It's, it's truly realistic. If you learn how this stuff works, it's not difficult, right? Aside, you know, push aside all that guru BS and stuff. Like this is just how you do it. Like it's realistic, okay? 80 grand in a week with your first week doing this is not realistic. Could you do this with your first week dropshipping? Of course you can, it's not hard. Monday, we had 400 and $49.84. And the reason we did less was because this was one of the things that I struggled most with in this whole run was I had this stigma in my head that you sell less on weekdays. So I was always scared from Sunday to Monday. Even if I did really good on Sunday, I was like, Monday's not going to sell. If I keep the same budget, if I even try to scale, I'm going to lose my money. You know, nobody's who's going to want to buy it. 9am on a Monday, this whole idea I had that really held me back. You'll see throughout this entire week, really, really held me back. And looking back, it's one of the one things I wish I would have done is just not been scared because that's the key. They're going to buy on weekdays. They're going to buy on weekends. There's always people out there willing to buy. You just got to find them, right? Never cut the budget on a weekday. If you're profitable on the weekend, please that would have made this a 10K run, easy. But yeah, we did 449.84 on Monday, profitable. Then Tuesday, same thing, got scared, cut the budget. Didn't want to lose money, only 131. Still profitable, but like, I could have done a grand if I would have just kept the same budget that I had on Saturday, right? So it's just all about not being scared, taking a risk. Obviously, if you have $0 in your bank account, why are you doing this in the first place? Why are you running TikTok ads? Go, go, go post organic videos, you know? But then we go to Wednesday, 
$26.99 at this point, I was like, okay, I don't want to be making $100 on the weekends and $1,000 on the weekends. I was like, I want to make $1,000 every day, you know? So I was like, there has to be a key. I thought that was like a key to selling on the weekdays. I didn't understand that it was to just do the same thing. It was to just not wuss out, you know? So I spent this entire day researching and looking up, you know, different strategies, ad testing strategies, how to scale on weekdays. We got a random sale. I don't even know what that was from. Didn't even run ads. Yeah, next day I did zero dollars. Couldn't find a solution on Wednesday, Thursday. I was like, okay, turning off all the ads all day. I didn't even go to class. That's one best that I was. I was in here at this desk. You guys are watching from all day. And I was just figuring out how do I do this? How do I do, how do I do this? You know, I didn't, I don't think I slept more than two hours that night. I was so focused on this. That's kind of what I like to do. You know, if I have a problem, I want to solve it. I want to solve it quick. And that's what I did because the next day, this was a Friday. We had 269.84, which was extremely similar to last Friday. Once again, I wasn't starting from up here, starting down here, scaled up to maybe about this much. Wanted to get up to here by Sunday. Yeah, same thing, same strategy. Go to Saturday, 628.25. I was at a wedding this day. It's actually kind of funny. It wasn't bad, but it was kind of frustrating because I was like, okay, it's been a whole week and I'm doing less than I did last weekend. Like what the, what's, what the hell is going on? You know, Sunday, 531, we're in the same campaign. And I was like, okay, I have to figure something out, right? So I let these same ads run on Monday. Um, only did 134, no big deal, still profitable. Monday where I, where I was like, okay, you know, I gotta hit the gas pedal. I only have one week left to milk this product before Halloween comes and nobody buys it anymore because it is a Halloween product. And um, I figured it out, I really did. So I, I, once again, it was one of those days I didn't really sleep, I didn't go to class actually on Monday. Um, so I was so invested in figuring out how to hit the gas pedal. I took a risk, I did. I built this whole new ad strategy that I thought would work. It would dump a lot of revenue at midnight immediately and then kind of just flow throughout the day it was a risk i was like i gotta hit the gas pedal i gotta do it and that's exactly what i did now october the third we did two thousand seventy one dollars which goes to show it doesn't matter if it's a dude it's tuesday it's the middle of the week right it doesn't matter let's actually go to the third just by itself you guys can kind of see we did around $1,300 in between midnight and 1 a.m. Or my bad, midnight and 2 a.m., I guess. $1,400 in two hours, guys. And then throughout the day, just kind of stayed steady, steady profits, you know. But that was our biggest day, 2.3 conversion rate, which is good. I think the average is in between one and two. That's considered decent. But yeah, this was the absolute best day, which brings us to today, the fourth. Uh, we're kind of scaling down slowly. Got 881 in sales average conversion rate but yeah that in total brings us to 73 in two weeks i took the time to learn this you know i didn't go on youtube and watch the six minute 24 hour drop shipping challenge on youtube you know it's it's bs man i mean some of the stuff they say is helpful but this is the real the real issues you're running into which i ran into i could talk more about them in the next video but this was just kind of a case study going over the daily revenue and kind of what i had to go through like a realistic expectation the strategies i used are probably what you guys are wondering right now like how did you actually do this and the next video i make is going to be very in-depth might be a little bit long that's okay you'll watch it if you really want to if you really want to succeed but um yeah i'm gonna make a whole separate video on the advertising just because i want to get the first video out this is my first ever video so i'm very excited to film the ad strategy video i think it'll be very helpful to a lot of you guys and um yeah i'll see you in that one